Hello, good morning, children. So now in division chapter, we'll discuss about what is division. Okay, division means equal sharing or repeated subtraction. So that means when you share anything, okay. Suppose you have four chocolate and you have to share with your brother, then what you will do? You will divide the chocolates equally. Then how many chocolates you will get? Two chocolates, two chocolates you will get, and two chocolates your brother will get. So that means division means equal sharing or repeated subtraction. This also we'll discuss later. In a division sum, we have four parts. What are the four parts? Dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. So in class two, you know this simple division: twenty-five is divided by seven. So the number that is divided is called dividend, and it is divided by which number? That is called divisor. And seven threes are twenty-one. So here three is the quotient. And after the division, so what number we we are getting here? Four is left over, and this is called remainder. So these four parts are there: dividend, divisor, quotient, and remainder. In a division, we can verify the answer by using the formula. What is the formula? This also you know in class two. Divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder is equal to dividend. Okay. Suppose in this example, what is the quotient you got? Seven. And divisor is sorry, quotient you got three, and divisor is seven. So divisor multiplied by quotient. So divisor is seven multiplied by quotient is three plus remainder four. Okay. So seven threes are twenty one plus four. Twenty one plus four is equal to twenty five. So this twenty five is the dividend. See, is it matching? Yes. So that means your division is correct. So by applying this formula to verify, we can check whether our division is right or wrong. Then point four. If a number is divided by one, the quotient is the number itself. Remember this. When a number is forty-five is divided by one, then what is the answer quotient? The number itself, same number, forty-five. Or another example, seven divided by one, it will be seven. Five divided by one, it will be five. Okay, any number divided by one, the quotient is thus quotient is the number itself. Underline and write all this in your maths copy. If a number is divided by itself, except zero, okay, the quotient will be one. See, sixty-eight is divided by sixty-eight, the quotient is one. Five divided by five, the quotient will be one because five one is a five. Sixty-eight one is a sixty-eight. So when a number is divided by itself, the answer will be one. When a number is divided by one, the Answer will be the number itself. Then, if zero is divided by a number, see zero divided by thirty or zero divided by seven. If zero is divided by a number, the quotient will be zero. So these are the properties of some properties of division, and I have written here some important properties. So this usually comes as your fill-ups, okay, in exam. So it's you should remember all these things and write all these in your maths copy. Okay, so division means does division means repeated subtraction or equal sharing and the four parts of uh, division sum. Okay, right. Then to verify, what is the verify formula? This is also very important. Okay, you should remember and then. Point four, okay. Point five and point six. Now, if you want to go through your book also, see the book page number seventy six. In page number seventy six, you mark same thing that I discussed in the copy, okay. So underline all these that I have highlighted, and this is also very important. In a division sum, the remainder is always smaller than the divisor. 
okay the remainder can never be greater than the divisor if it will be greater that means your division is wrong okay so all these things you underline and highlight and remember okay